my uh, quarantine bearded hair is coming along quite nicely. Hey, the Wutsu family is right. You know, Jim, your video last week was really well timed because I also am starting to think about these kinds of things that, you know, they were, they used to be important and they used to be things that I had to do because these are things that you have to do. Um, but the quarantine has really thrown everything for a loop and, you know, sometimes it can become really existential, you know, in terms of what's really important or what has meaning. And that's really challenging sometimes to try to grapple with. It's funny, I've been working from home for a number of weeks now, but I feel like I'm only just now starting to wrap my mind around what it is that I need to do in order to well, be productive with my work, but also make myself feel better. And I want to share these three things that I've discovered along the way that are at least helping me and maybe you might find some value in it. The first thing, and Jim, you talked about this in your last video, I have found regular recurring exercise has actually really been helping me at least to regulate my mood. I've been noticing that on the days when I feel my lowest or my least motivated are the days when I have an exercise. And the days where I have exercise, I consistently have really good moods throughout the day. I'm not necessarily more productive or I'm not necessarily, you know, somehow able to translate doing a run in the morning into some sort of great feats of achievement. But I am noticing that the more and regular that I exercise, the better my view of the world tends to be and I tend to be a lot more optimistic. Second, for all of the notebooks and everything that I've done, I've never really kept a regular journal. I vlog a lot, sure, but I'm finding that as I sit down to write some morning pages or just jot a few things down in my journal, regularly stopping to reflect on my mood and everything else has really helped me. And Jim, I know this one really will probably strike a chord with you, or at least you, you know what I'm talking about here, because when you start to put that stuff down to paper, it allows you to detach from whatever chaos is going on in your mind, and you can start to look at it and spot patterns. And so regularly sitting down to reflect on paper or on camera has really helped me to stay on top of things. The third thing that I've realized, and this is not necessarily new, but it's a new way that I've formulated it for myself because I know that it's really difficult for me to get started on things that I'm not looking forward to. And I'm not unique in this, but somebody that I was listening to on a podcast recently talked about, you know, this quality of productivity is basically Newton's first law, right? And that whole idea of overcoming inertia, you know, if you're gonna, if you're not working, then it, you're more likely to not work. And if you're already working, you're more likely to keep working. But I realized that this is in some sense, a flywheel for me. It's really difficult for me to get the flywheel turning, but once I get the flywheel going, it starts to become a little bit easier for me to work. The third thing I realized is that for me, if I think about my motivation as a flywheel and not something like a rock that I have to push up a hill in per perpetuity or perpetually, it really does help to give myself permission that if I fail, that's okay. Just get the flywheel started again. It's not a huge deal. You're not losing a lot of progress. So it helps me to be a little bit more kind to myself, but it also gives me a sense of, I know what I need to do to get started, to get the work done. And so those are the three things that I've realized really work for me. And if it helps you in any way, I'm more than happy to share that. And if you found little tricks that are gonna help you out, I would certainly appreciate if you drop me a line in the comments. I'm really curious to see what's working for you and maybe we can start to share with each other. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and don't forget, stay awesome.